What is going on everybody? Welcome back here today to another NBA 2K19 trade deadline rebuild and this is going to be a Marco Fultz magic rebuild. Pretty much moments before or minutes before the deadline like capped off the Orlando Magic traded Jonathan Simmons a first round pick Thunder protected style and I believe a second round pick in exchange for Marco Fultz from the Sixers. Now Marco Fultz Obviously, one of the most odd players in the NBA over the last two years. He was the number one overall pick in the 2017 draft, and he was just traded for basically a role player and a heavily protected first round pick that I don't even know the exact protection, but I know it's not that good at all. So, I'm going to talk about this both sides of it. I think I'm going to quickly talk about Philly's side of it because I'm not going to really do a post Fultz rebuild, obviously. So, oh, actually, what I do want to do, I forgot to do this. I do want to send Fultz to the G League. Like, he would not be playing anyway because he's hurt. So, we're going to send him to the G League so he can just get a little bit better. Now, the Sixers side of things, it's weird because I live in Philly, so I'm around so many Sixers fans, and they all hate Fultz. They all just want him off the team, and they're like, well, what do we take anything? I'm like, because like, you guys know I'm a Knicks fan, I'm like, all right, if we offered you Emmanuel Moutier in like two seconds, would you do that? And they're like, yes. I was like, okay, wow. They really just hate Fultz. And, I mean, it is what it is, but I think they gave up on him way too quickly. I It's been two years since he's... Um, it's been two years since he was drafted number one. Number one! Number one, and they gave up on him in two years, and he's had injuries. Now, he showed good games. I think he's the youngest player to record a triple-double. Whatever, I know it was a blowout game, but that's still somewhat impressive when he was healthy. I know he can't shoot at all, but if Orlando could fix that, and he could actually be a number one overall pick talent... That is the biggest heist of the century. That is the biggest heist of the century by the Orlando Magic. I know the Sixers were just like, we don't even want to deal with it anymore. But the fact that, okay, so maybe if like Fultz was like, they took him at three in that draft. They they stood at three and they took him. I, I feel like, okay, but you gave up a future asset in that Kings pick to move up to one to take this guy. And yeah, and you gave up on him for Jonathan Simmons and a first round pick in just a year and a half after. So it's just a year and a half. It wasn't even two years. Basically, a year and a half after they drafted him, a full season and a half of just damn. Like, like obviously, like you're looking at teams like the Knicks and the Magic, two other, and like the Hornets. Like those three teams in that draft really didn't draft players that are really showing out ready, and they're still kind of raw, like Neil Keenan, Jonathan Isaac, and Malik Monk. But they don't even give up on them yet, and they're hesitant to give up on them. I know the Magic called about Neil Keenan, Knicks declined. I think Monk was a rumor in the Gasol, but they're like, no, there's no way we're trading Monk. So, I don't know. I think they give up on him way too quickly. Now, obviously, if he never figured out how to shoot, like, become a good shooter, say he was a career 30% from three, and, like, he couldn't shoot from downtown, it's really hard to play him and Simmons at the same time because Simmons not being able to shoot really limits you, like, drastically. Like, that's something Simmons needs to work out, but that's for another video. But yeah, if it just wasn't gonna work there, I just think, I'm surprised they didn't even get Terrence Ross out of the trade, who was a lot better of a player than Jonathan Simmons, at least this year. Simmons obviously was really good with um, San Antonio and stuff like that. But yeah, I just think Philly gave up way too quickly. I know even if he never became a good shooter, just him and Simmons were never gonna be able to play in the same lineup, but I don't know. I, I at least think... I don't know. But, yeah, I'm going to talk about this in the Magic. I love it. I freaking love the trade. Um, I originally thought it was just Jonathan Simmons in, like, a second. Or just Jonathan Simmons straight up. So, I was like, holy crap. The first, I was like, damn, did they just give up their first this year? But, no, it was just, like, a lottery protected first or something like that. Or a top 20 protected first. So, I love the trade for Orlando. Them and um, San, An not San Antonio, Phoenix, have been two teams for, like, the last year trying to get a point guard. And they got theirs. I hope they fix them. And I'm very excited. We are going to be sitting at the 10th pick in the draft. Okay, did we win, like, a decent amount of games in the year? I'm going to keep Steve Clifford for now. I mean, he's a good coach in real life, but his ratings kind of suck in this game. So we'll see if we have to fire him. Um, and then let's, yeah, Jaden Paul. Jaden Paul and our assistant coach have literally the same hair. Okay. Uh, so we are going to hire these three guys. Cool. Now let's go to the NBA draft. So we have our point guard in faults. Uh, we have our center in Bamba. Vucevic is a free agent. And then I think they're not going to bring him back. At least I really wouldn't. If he wants anything more than 15 mil, which he should get. I can see a team like Dallas offering him 20 mil or something. But you really got to get Bamba in the minutes. There's no reason like you should really bring him back if you want Bamba. Honestly, Bamba really wasn't that much of a need for them. Because Vucevic is playing out of his mind this year. He's an all-star. But him and Gordon defensively just isn't really that good at all. Um, I mean, Vucevic isn't the worst defender in the world. But I don't know if Gordon's the guy you want with him. But they can both spread the floor pretty well. Um, they're both particularly good shooters. I would have really liked to see, like, Milwaukee trade for 
uh, Vucevic at one point, but they didn't really have the assets. So we have the 10th pick. Obviously, this would be like a Darius Garland from Vanderbilt type pick. I don't think it, like, obviously now with Fultz, they're not going to draft a point guard. I can see them definitely going shooting guard or small forward because uh, Isaac... I don't know. He's not really working out for them. I might move. I think I'm probably going to move Isaac in this video. But, yeah, I'm going to kind of clear up some of these cap contracts like Frazier, Mozgov, Fournier, and there was one other one. Ooh, Mitchell Robinson. Interesting. Uh, can I move up in the draft with the – actually, the Warriors will give me two first or one first basically, but I'll take it. Now we do have, yeah, Augustine and Fournier I'd like to move. Fournier does have two years left on this deal, which hurts. Uh, Otto Porter. We can get a first and Robert Williams. Montrezl Harrell. I like the first in Robert Williams. We get Robinson and a first next year. That's pretty clean. I might do that, honestly. And the next first next year, I don't think they're going to make the playoffs. So I'm going to do that, and we're going to get Mitchell Robinson. So that's a pretty dope trade. And we're going to have the 10th pick in the draft, and I'll see you guys at Rookie Signings with 2 wide draft. All right, guys. Well, look who just fell to us. R.J. Barrett at 10. So I wonder who went. How did R.J. Barrett fall to me? Wow, okay. Lakers to Garland. How did they end up with the seventh pick? Damn. All right, so obviously I'm going to take RJ Barrett. I think I've had him in a couple of rebuilds lately, so I think I, I could end up trading him. We'll see. Uh, do we have another first? I oh, know this is our second round pick. Who's going to be here? PJ Washington from Kentucky. Killin Tilly from Gonzaga, right? I'm going to take Killin Tilly. And now let's move on to the end of the draft. Uh, we just picked up freaking RJ Barrett with the tenth pick, so that was a steal in itself. So I'm glad I didn't trade up because that would have been really unnecessary. So Isaac, Wesley Wood, who I don't really care for. Isaiah Briscoe, also another Kentucky Wildcat. But Isaac, we're going to bring back. I don't know. I think I'm going to try to move him. So qualifying offers, Martin, don't care for. Grant, geez, no. Kim Birch, no. Um, Troy Capain, Capain, no, I'll pass. All right, so moratorium. Let's, um, okay, so Jesus, he wants 30 mil. Who's giving him money? Bulls are giving him 30 mil. Jeez. Oh, I do want to bring back Terrence Ross. Oh, I forgot to do that at the deadline. All right, we're going to give him about 8 mil a year. Please accept that. Thank you. All right, so we're going to get Terrence Ross back. He's going to be a really good bench piece. And none of these guys I really care for. So Vucevic. Oh, God. Okay. Um, Fultz will be our starting point guard. We have our starting power forward. Like, I really like Bear, but I've got him in recent rebuilds, so I kind of want to move on from him. Jalen Brown's interesting. And Gordon Hayward. Gordon Hayward kind of sucks, though. Uh, let's see. Buddy Heal. Nah, I just got him. Neil Keenan and Knox. Nah, I'll pass Ingram. Eh. Lever, I uh, played pretty well here. And we'd get Dinwiddie. Michael Porter Jr. I kind of like that. But that's it. I feel like I should be able to get another first out of that. Uh, Drew Holiday. Interest Drew Holiday would be interesting at the two. That's actually a pretty good player to add. But he's 29. DeRozan. Devin Booker. Okay. Um, Adams. I kind of want to add ooh, Bradley Beal. Bradley Beal would be a clean pickup. I don't obviously want to give up Aaron Gordon. Okay. So I have this Warriors first, and I'll throw in a second. They want a 2023 first, and they'll give a short Brown Jr. We're going to do that. So we just picked up Bradley Beal, which is a huge pickup. So now we have one, two, three. Ross will be four. I can probably trade him, so five, six, seven, eight. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to sign Vucevic if I can, and then I'm going to trade him, uh, like a quick sign and trade. Uh, and then I'm not going to go after anybody else in free agency. Uh, so we, he agrees to that. We're going to decline that. Okay, perfect. So let's renounce the rights. Um, yeah, so we got Vucevic and Terrence Ross here. Um, all right, so let's do this. We sign him. Um, all right, so we get both of them. Let's go. And I'll see you guys. Actually, no, I'm going to... Oh, Kyrie lasted down, but we have our point guard. So I'm going to move Vucevic for a small forward, particularly... Ooh. Okay, if I can work that out, that's huge. Oh, that's interesting. I just got off from freaking Ben Simmons. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. Okay. So, let me see. Um, What are the odds? Did he just get paid? No. Okay. I'm also willing to give up Troy Brown Jr. and our first next year. There we go. We just picked up Ben Simmons. So, he's going to be our... So... I ended up with Ben Simmons and Fultz in the same lineup. Jesus. All right. I'm an idiot, but screw it. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let me sign a backup point guard, and I'll see you guys at training camp. All right. So the point guard, I went after Derrick Rose, and I gave him like 20 mil a year, but he ended up signing with the Sixers. So we ended up picking up Isaiah Thomas for 13 mil a year, which I'm really happy for. But he won't be starting. It'll obviously be Fultz. I can't believe I ended up with Fultz and Simmons. But goddamn, I got offered Ben Simmons. I had to accept that. So we're going to send Fultz on top potential. Uh, we are also going to send probably Bamba. And then maybe Gordon to finish it off. So, Bamba. And, you know, we'll send it to Isaac. Maybe he'll just improve off the bench. So, uh, 
uh, yeah, there we go. So we have... I actually really like this team a lot. I don't even know who's going to be the 10th man because we just had Fultz. I thought I was just going to send some random point guard and give him 10 minutes a night, but I say Thomas is pretty freaking good. So let's see how this rotation is going to look. So thank you for finally starting Fultz, or not finally, but starting Fultz over Thomas. So we're going to go 31. We're going to go 36. Okay, I want to give Beal big minutes. So Thomas is going to get 23, 21, 20. Robinson, 13, is cool with me. So I got five more minutes here. Let's go 30. 32, 34. All right, I think that's what we're going to roll with. I'll see you guys at the end of the year, and we should make the playoffs, especially in the Eastern Conference. Of course, this team is struggling a little bit. We were 38 and 36. It might have to do with our coach. As much as I want to keep Steve Clifford, I might have to move him, but it is what it is. I think we should make the playoffs, though, because we should finish over 500 as long as we don't just, like, tank the rest of the year. Uh, if we win... Yeah, we're not going to finish under 500. We're going to at least win one more game to put us at least 500. But, yeah, putting Ben Simmons and the Fultz in the same lineup was kind of whack. I know. But I got Ben Simmons for freaking Vucevic, so I had to do it. So, we end up going 43 and... Actually, why did I think there was 84 games in the season? Jesus. Never mind. Okay, so we go 43 and 39. Excuse my math from two minutes ago. Uh, we're going to get no awards, which is okay. Any Magic? Any uh, Simmons or... Uh, Bradley Beal, we do get Ben Simmons, which is sweet. 18 points, 10 rebounds, 8 assists. Shot 26% from 3. Not bad. It's an improvement. Uh, no more Magic. Um, yeah, we didn't even... Well, yeah, we didn't have a rookie because we traded RJ Barrett for uh, freaking Bradley Beal. So we're the 6th seed. So that's not bad. Uh, we're taking on the 3-seeded Bucks, Bledsoe, Brogdon, Giannis, Wilson, Zubats, Bull Bull, Spoon Spoon and Pat Connington. Okay, so player stats. We are, uh, Bra Bradley Beals are winning score. 19 points, 4 assists. Just kind of hoping he would average near 24, but maybe I got to give him more minutes. What was his minute decrease? Uh, yeah, when I, I got to get more minutes next year. Aaron Gordon was pretty good. 17.7 rebounds. Thomas, 16 off the bench. Fultz, 12 and 5. Uh, Bamba, 11, 9 and a half. There's T. Ross, Isaac, and Robinson's numbers. Team stats, points per game. We are 8th and allowed. We are 11th. Okay. Aaron Gordon, I might think about moving too because we don't really need his scoring. Like, we're not that desperate for him. So maybe I'll flip him for like a John Collins type player or a Julius Randle. So we'll see. So let's similar to the current round against Milwaukee. Uh, we could upset them. We are up 2-0. So maybe an upset is looming here. But yeah, we're up 3-1. All right. Don't blow a 3-1 lead. 3-2. Watch us blow. Oh, no. We win in 6. Wow. Okay. Aaron Gordon. Balled out. Now he does. Uh, he heard me say that I might trade him, so now he balls out. Shoots 62% from the field and almost 50% from three. How many threes did he attempt? Uh, 39 threes in that series, and he had 19 of them. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, Bradley Beal, he disappointed Jesus in the playoffs. Uh, what I might do here is actually, let's give, let's go 28. Let's go 18. And let me get Bradley Beal some more minutes. And then we'll go Gordon 33. So let's... We're taking on the Raptors. Oh, I'd rather have faced Atlanta. How did... Did Atlanta sign KD? No, but they do have Zion. And they signed Kyrie and Trey Young. Okay. Interesting. So let's simulate this round. We're probably not going to beat Toronto. But if we win one game, I'll be happy. And we're not even going to win a game. We get swept. Okay. Uh, how do we do in that series, though? Did Gordon come back to earth? Or did he still ball out? Uh, game one... Fultz at 22 in 25 minutes. Gordon at 19 and 17. Damn. Uh, game 2, Simmons at 32, 4, and 8. Thomas, 20. Gordon, 16 and 7. Beal, 18. Damn, Beal's really disappointing me. Uh, 21 and 10 here for Beal. Do I move Bradley Beal? I don't know. The Hawks win it all. Damn, Zion is your finals MVP. So, let's advance here uh, to the lottery where we actually have the Knicks top 3 protected pick. Wow, and it's going to be number 1. So, the only way we get it if it drops to 4... And we get it. That would be the most unluckiest thing ever in even Knicks history. Like, or NBA history. What about Knicks history? So let me pick up Jacob Underwood, you know, the huge. Uh, we signed him. Cool. So let's go to the draft. And we have the fourth pick to play with here. So, hypothetically, what could I get for Gordon in the fourth? I'm just curious. Um, Jimmy Butler. Interesting. Interesting. Very Blake Griffin I just saw. Uh, what could I get for Bradley Beal in the fourth? That would be an interesting thing to think of. Bradley Beal in the fourth pick. I want James Harden. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. But, um, yeah, we didn't get really offered anything crazy. So, I have the fourth pick. I don't know, like, what position I want to go for um, at all. Maybe we can move, like, Isaiah and then get up. I don't know. I really don't know what I want to do here. 
Uh, I guess I'm just going to make the selection and then we'll figure it out. Alright, so I did have James Wiseman and I'm probably just going to trade Mitchell Robinson for like a pick or something because, uh, yeah, Wiseman will just replace him. So this team just got definitely better. Um, at least the bench unit did because Robinson is still raw in this game. So let's go to Moratorium. Um, ben Simmons is our big free agent. Obviously, let's bring him back. He's probably going to accept another deal, but we're obviously going to match it. So let's see. He wanted to decide with the Kings. Interesting. Alright, so let's sign him on that. Okay, that says he decided to sign with the Kings. Um, I don't care. Even if he does sign with the Kings, I'm literally putting on trade over on and getting him back. So we got a max deal. Now, what can I get from Mitchell Robinson? Um, I'll take like a, a, a future first. Milwaukee's willing to throw in a future first. Atlanta, but they're, they, they're good now. Um, all right, Dallas. We're going to be shooting up a first. So we can go play with Chris Stops in Dallas. I'll see you guys at training camps. I think I'm going to keep the team the same. And just hopefully maybe the coach switches things up because this is a good roster still. Yeah, I think a 43. I think we, we had 43 wins last year. I think we could definitely hit 50 with the new coach and maybe Wiseman and just another year of Bamba and Fultz and um i don't know i yeah those two so we'll see so training camps i do have three or two i have three on top potentials so bomba he's an 84 and he's now at a plus potential Fultz, he's at a and then we'll probably just give it to like wiseman yeah i don't want to isaac yeah we'll give it to wiseman isaac sucks in this game unless you play like every single game with him i do like him a lot um i think he's just not being used kind of properly but in this game he's just his tendencies suck kind of like brandon ingram kind of like have chris tops and like old depot used to be and guys like that uh, so T Ross, okay, Isaac, you can get 18. We're gonna go 19 to Wiseman. We're gonna go 13 to Ross. We're gonna go 25 to Thomas. We'll go 24 to Thomas. We're gonna go 32 to Bamba. 30. Actually, we'll go 31, 34, 38. Um, okay, 36, 30, and then we'll go 35. So that'll be for me. I'll see you guys at the end of the year, and hopefully we can make. Um, 50 wins this year. That'd be cool. All right, guys, so we do pick up 50 wins this year. We go 54 and 28. Uh, do we get any awards? No. And Ty Lu of the Rockets is your coach of the year. So I'm sure Ben Simmons is on an all NBA team. Uh, all NBA 13, maybe? Yep. Uh, he's a probably great number. 17, 9, and 8. We'll see kind of what everybody else did. And there's no other magic. And we're... We could have Wiseman all working second team. No, but killing... Uh, I thought this was killing Tilly. Never mind. Okay. So we're the three seed. So last year we were the six seed. But we flipped it. We're the three seed now. We're taking on the Cavs in round one. We have Kevin Porter Jr., Sexton Love. Cool. Uh, we should beat them. If we beat. Who did we beat last year? We beat Milwaukee in round one. So we definitely should be able to beat them. Damn, Bradley Bill. Why do you suck? Uh, Gordon, 16 and 7. Thomas, 15. Fultz, 13 and 5. Bomba, 10 and 10. There's Wiseman, Ross, and Isaac. Team stats, we were. Jeez, 14th in scoring. Defense, we were second uh, behind the Thunder. And we were sixth in point differential. Um, and Atlanta's the two seed grade. Can we not lose the. Okay, we're going to lose the Cleveland in round one. I'm gonna, I'm fully expected to lose the Cleveland, too. So yeah, I'm probably going to make some big moves in the offseason. And you know what? Sometimes you got to be negative to be positive. Let's go. Okay, that kind of worked. Some reverse psychology there. Can we beat Atlanta? Oh my God, we're up 2 0. Ah, oh, we're going to blow a 2 0 lead, aren't we? Damn it. Ah, uh, yeah, they're going to... 3 to us? Okay, game seven. Come on. Please be close. Do not get blown out. Please don't get blown out. That's all I asked for is not to get blown out. Don't get blown out. Bro, I asked one thing. I asked for one thing. Actually? Okay. Well, now we're not by seven. We're not winning. Damn it. All right. Uh, I got to make moves in the offseason. So, the Hawks win it all again, and Zion is your finals MVP. So, I'm definitely going to be making moves in the offseason. Gordon and Beal might be gone. So we'll see. Maybe Bomba will be gone. We'll see. So the Knicks get their pick this time. It's at three. The Clippers have the th second pick and the fourth pick. Well, yeah, we did take Simmons from Philly. So they kind of suck. Do we have a pick? Yeah, 26. Okay. So we're going to keep the staff. Let's go to the draft. Do I got to make a move or something? Is Bradley Beal a free agent? Damn, he is. Okay. So I got to wait till if I want to move there. Move him. I got to wait. So I don't know. Do I want to move Gordon? For like a Blake Griffin, do I? Oh, uh, to watch us a bonus, interesting. Um, I mean Gordon's been solid. You know I'm not gonna move Gordon. Uh, what could I get for T Ross? Wow, Wiseman makes seven mil already. Damn. Uh, we can pick up Smart and Horford, interesting. Pick seven and MKG, Barnes and Whiteside. I might wait. Okay, I'm gonna wait till after I sign Beal to figure out who I'm gonna be moving. I think I'm gonna move Beal. He was just been underwhelming for us, so I don't really care who we draft. And his name is Greg Brown the third, and he's a set. Wait, what? 
Oh my god, I'm stupid. I didn't know I had the ninth pick. So how did I get that pick? Am I ever going to be able to find out? Um, was it... Who was bad? Did, I don't remember. Um, who had the ninth pick? Uh, scouting? Oh my god, it's not going to be able to show me mock drafts or anything. Okay. Who would have had the ninth pick? It would have been... One... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It would have been like the Clippers. But no way I had the Clippers first. Um, I'm trying to think here. Whose pick did I have? Was it like Boston's? I don't know. I really don't know. Sure, I don't know. Oh, well. Well, we just picked up Greg Brown, who's going to be a nice shade option. So let's bring back Bamba. Um, Qualifying offers Fultz, obviously, and Isaac we're going to bring back. And then we're going to obviously offer Bradley Beal a lot of money. Uh, yeah, a lot of money. And then I'm obviously going to match whatever deals they get. We're not renouncing. Fultz has a $24 million cap hit. Jesus Christ. All right, so obviously we're going to sign Beal. How much does Fultz even want? 31 mil. You're out of your goddamn mind. So does Isaac. Bro, why do these guys want so much money? They suck. But we're going to sign all three of these guys, and I'll see you guys when I have a trade in place. Um, nah, we'll just take them on their bigger deals. Uh... Yeah, so I'm going to figure out a trade. I really don't know what I want to trade Beal for. I might do Jimmy Butler here. We're going to get Kobe White, who's actually pretty good. You know I'm going to do this trade. It helps us out defensively a lot. So we pick him up. Now, I don't know if I want to move Bamba um, at all. Like, let's see. Say hypothetically, I package Bamba and Jonathan Isaac, who's making... Wait, what? He's only making 6 mil? thought I just paid this guy 30 mil. I have a interesting trade in mind to just help out our bench. I want to see if he's willing to get traded. Uh, Michael Porter Jr. So, um, I want to see if I can get Michael Porter Jr. He's still only making 5 mil for Greg Brown. And I'm willing to throw in Isaac as well. Plus picks. I don't really care. Uh, so, throw in. I don't care. Uh, give me Fareed. Wait, how much money? 2 mil? Okay. Uh, give me DJ Jeffries. Okay. No, I need somebody making 3 mil. Uh, Aaron Baines. Perfect. Please tell me Baines makes this salary work. If not, there's a point guard. Okay. Uh, will they do this? Oh, hold on. All right, let's try this again. Let's see if this shade works. I threw in a first. Okay, I have uh, another first. Let me do this. Okay, so we picked up Porter Jr. He'll be our sixth man this year, so I'm pretty hyped for that. Now, I think this team is good enough to win it all. Um, I'm just going to keep sending Bamba and Fultz some type of potential. Uh, we can also send uh, Porter Jr. So the bench is Isaiah Thomas, Wiseman, Porter Jr., and Kobe White. Or no, no, we don't have Isaiah Thomas, so it's Kobe White. And I don't know if we still have Terrence Ross. I honestly couldn't tell you. Uh, yeah, we do have Terrence Ross still. So Terrence Ross is going to get 10 minutes a night. He'll be the ninth spot. Kobe White can get 17. Wiseman, 19. Porter Jr., 24. Uh, we'll go 31 to Bamba. 32 to Gordon. 37. 37. 33. And I think that's it. So I'll see you guys at the end of the year. And hopefully this team can win it all. Wow, okay. We're actually really like this year, preseason rankings-wise. All right, guys. So, we are we end the season 55-27, and 27, our best record yet. I think we won 54 games last year, so we only won one more. We were 30-9 and nine at one point, too. So, uh, we were, what, 21 games? I mean, okay. Uh, I guess that's on pace for 55-27. and 27. So, did we get Coach of the Year? No, it goes to Ty Lue again. Uh, let's see if we have any magic. Uh, we do get Simmons again. And that will be the only one. We are the two seed, okay? So at least we're on the other side as the Hawks. This is probably going to be the final year. So we're taking on the Bulls in round one. John Morant, Levine, Harris, Market. That's a good team. It's a good team. Miritich, former Bull. I keep forgetting it was a Bull. I remember... I, oh my god, Jesus. Okay. We don't really have a true scorer. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven guys in the whole digits, but nobody over 17 points. I remember if you guys are like an OG on my channel, I used to do a Bucks franchise. I think it was on 2K15, like a my GM, and I always called him Mirotic, Mirotic, Miritich. I would be like Mirotic because I didn't know how to pronounce his name. We we're at 18th in scoring. Okay, losing Bradley Beal hurted, but we're top in defense, so let's see if defense really wins championships or if offense is the key. So we're down 1-0 to Chicago. I would like to at least go to the conference finals and maybe lose. Like, I would really be upset if we did lose in round one. Uh, we are down 3-2. to two. Great. Do not lose in six. Okay, game seven. Oh, God damn it. Uh, winner takes on some New York team, and it looks like it's Brooklyn. So, please win this. Good first quarter. Good first half. All right, we're winning. Let's go. All right. Well, I was a little nervous. Ben Simmons drops a 30-point triple-double. Didn't attempt a three, but I'll take it. 
All right, round two here against Brooklyn. They have added Jaden McDaniels or Jaylen, Jaylen, Keldon Johnson. Pretty cool team, uh, but I don't know. I'm kind of confident here. We're down 1-0, 1-1, 2-1 them. Do not go down 3-1. Okay, 2-2. 3-2 two two. Two us. Let's go. Win in six. Let's go, baby. We're taking on Atlanta. Will we finally beat Atlanta, or will they beat us for like the third year in a row? They're up 1-0. They're up 2-0. They're up 3-0. Well, 3-1. Can they win with 3-0 lead? Nope. They beat us in five. Atlanta's just too good. They're just too good. So I've actually won a championship in like my last, I think, like nine rebuilds. So I'm going to take the L on this one. Screw you, Fultz. But yeah, this team, I don't know how I felt about it. It was just weird from the start. Maybe I should have just blew up the front court of Bamba and Gordon and should have kept Beal. Or maybe I should never have added Simmons and added somebody a lot better or just a better shooter. Maybe he just wouldn't fit on this team. So Fultz ended up, his best year was 15.7 po uh, 15.3 points, 6.6 .6 assists, 49% from the field, 32% from three. So still a good player. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Uh, tomorrow, you guys are going to see my winners and losers from the trade deadline and I think the Otto Porter Bulls rebuild. And then... On Sunday, you're probably going to get like a post Grizzly, a post Gasol Grizzlies, and a post Tobias Cobras rebuild or something like that. So that's going to be for me. Thank you all for watching. I love you guys so much. Follow me on Twitter. Link in the description. I'm almost at 10,000 followers. So please push me there. And I'll see you guys next video. Peace.